Hello friends. I've had lots of support and well wishes since launching my business. It's been very motivating to have so many people encouraging me. One recurring question that has come up is about the seemingly unrelated products and services I'm offering. What does real estate have to do with leadership and vice versa? Even my wife has commented when I've been sharing ideas about future products that they don't seem to go along with what my business is. I certainly appreciate the feedback, especially my wife's. However, this way of thinking is indicative of our human condition, our training that's been going on our entire lives, our need to put everything in a box, to give it a label, and to put constraints on it, to set limitations and restrictions. Well, I'm done with that. A big part of unleashing your potential is to become unrestrained. So in regards to what does real estate have to do with leadership, on the surface, nothing. But in fact, there are two things they have in common. Number one, in both cases, I'm attempting to unleash potential. In my real estate course, it's your home's potential. I'm trying to maximize the potential in your home so you can make the most profit when you sell. In my leadership courses, I'm trying to unleash your potential as a leader. So the commonality is potential. Number two, the commonality is me. I'm acting as the catalyst to unleash your potential, to deliver on the vision of my business, to unleash your potential. So over the coming months, as I launch products and you wonder, what does this have to do with the other products? The answer is simple, potential and me. That's my Thursday thought for this week. Now go unleash your potential. Thank you.